This is my first video where I'm like sitting down and not vlogging. And we literally just got back to the apartment from Disney World and I wanted to film this so that I could put all the stuff away so it's not just sitting for a long time. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this is just gonna be a quick little what did I buy in Disney World thing. So the first thing I'm wearing, it is this adorable Happy Holidays sweatshirt. And I bought this during the Christmas party. It is not a Christmas party exclusive though. You don't have to be at the Christmas party to buy it. But that's just when I happen to buy it. And it's really cute and it's very soft and warm and I'm happy that I got it. It's really cute. And um, like on the sleeve, it says Walt Disney World and inside of the D, there is like a little bauble that's shaped like Mickey. And it's really, really cute. And then I also got two journals that look like the covers of VHS, um, of the movies VHS. So Beauty and the Beast. And then on the back, it actually has like the description that would have appeared on the VHS, or I guess the DVD. But this is definitely meant to be a VHS because when you open it up, the first page is a VHS. Um, and it was really funny, one of the cast members said that um, she like has seen little kids say to their parents, like, what is that? And not know what it is, which made me feel kind of old. Um, and then I got Aladdin as well, which same thing, talks about it on the back. The second article of clothing I bought, I'm wearing now, because it was a little warm, so I took my sweatshirt off. And it is a um, Walt Disney World spirit jersey, so it's kind of baggy, and it says established 1971. And then on the back, it says, it says Walt Disney World. I think it's very cute. So, I like it. It's comfortable. It's about as expensive as spirit jerseys at college campuses, so like $50, but that's how much it was at my alma mater, so I feel like that's not, I mean it's expensive because it's a shirt, but it's not ridiculously expensive comparatively. And then I got two mugs. I got this one, which I think is really cute. It's dopey on this side, and then the castle, and it is, um, yellow on the inside like a yellowy green i guess it's very cute and then i got um the chip mug which i'm very excited about because um see how i got the chip mug he's very cute he just he looks like chip and i like him he's adorable and then I got this Christmas ornament, which they had a number of Christmas ornaments um, with, with different colors of glitter and stuff, but I liked this silver one the best because I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can. Each of the little glitters is a, is a little Mickey head. So I thought that was really, really cute. And so I got this one, which I think is adorable. And I'm probably gonna bring it over to my parents' house because we don't have a Christmas tree and I don't know when I will have a Christmas tree. Whereas my mom does big Christmas trees every year and she usually the like color themes them. So I think she would like this because it's not too flashy, but it's very clearly Disney, <laughs> but that's okay. So now we're gonna look at the pins I got. So I did get two um, pins like this. So it was my birthday on the 21st, so I got a happy birthday pin. And then Riley and I actually spent our third anniversary in Disneyland, and I lost my happily ever after pin somehow, I think in all the moving that we've done since then. So I got another one. He still has his, but I got another one so that I can put it on my cork board with all of my pins that I have. So I got those. And then while in the Japan Pavilion at Epcot, I didn't realize they did this, you can get a pearl. So I got a little silver pearl. Um, it's seven millimeters. It's very, very cute. And of course, my cat is walking on the desk, so we'll see if she joins us in a second. Um, so I got that as well. It was only $18, which I don't think is bad. Hi, Primrose. And um, oh, there she is. And I wanted to get it, no, she's going to try to play with it. I wanted to get it put into like a little Mickey Mouse head or something. 
as like a charm, but they didn't have that. So I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. As for right now, it's living in this bag. So now onto the pins. I'm gonna go with what I purchased first and then what I traded for. Um, these are just kind of in a random order. I'm not doing them by like what day I bought them or anything. So I bought this up pin. I thought this was very cute. I loved the little baubles as the balloons. It's adorable. This is Riley's favorite pin that I purchased, um, which I think is kind of funny because it's one of the like more simple ones that I bought. So I'm kind of surprised that it's his favorite, but yep, so I got that one. Um, this is one of the limited edition pins I got. This is Snow White because Snow White's 80th anniversary was actually on my birthday, the 21st. Um, and when you open it up, it has Snow White and the Prince and it has the Evil Queen with her like box that she wanted to put Snow White's heart in. And on the front, it is the Seven Dwarves and it says, Walt Disney, Snow White, and the Seven Dwarves 80th Anniversary, and it's limited edition. And if I remember correctly, it's one of 2000. So, pretty cool. This is the first time I ever have bought um, limited edition pins. And then we have, oh, I really like this one. This is just a Mickey head. I think he's really, really cute though. Um, and he's also 3D, so he's, like he comes out a little bit and I just really like him I think he's adorable and he's very classic looking but I really really like him then oh I really like this one too this is one of the first ones I bought at the park so this one is the castle and we've got Tinkerbell and then there's fireworks and it rotates so you can have different fireworks displays behind the castle which I think is really really cool and this is part of the Disney Parks collection um, but yeah, I really, really like this one. It was one of the first ones I bought. I think I bought it on the first day I was there, actually. But I just really like it. I think it's really pretty. This is another... This is another limited edition one. This one is for Walt Disney Day. So it says 2017 at the top, and it says Walt Disney Day at the bottom. This one is limited edition. Um, this is the first time they ever wrote Walt Disney Day on a pin, I guess, is what they um, told me. And then uh, we've got Walt in the middle, obviously. We've got Dumbo on the side and cars. And uh, it looks like the castle over here. And then this one is one of 4,500. So not as limited as the Snow White one, but still limited. And I really like this one. I love Walt, so I have a soft spot for this one. <laughs> then, oh my goodness. Oh, I was really excited about this one. So Aladdin's 25th anniversary um, is going on currently. So uh, they had a lot of really cool limited edition Aladdin pins. And I love Jasmine and Aladdin, and I feel like it's really hard to find um, pins that have them on it that I like. I feel like they're really boring usually. Or like it's just, Ala or it's just Jasmine in her outfit. And I want to see them doing other stuff. So I thought this was really cool. It's the scene at the end where the genie is free and he's hugging Aladdin and Jasmine and Abu and he's got his little goofy hat on. It's really cute. And this one, it's harder to get off the thing. This one is limited 3,000. So, but I thought this one was really, really cute. I loved this one. Um, I was excited to find it. I had no idea that they were doing limited edition Aladdin pins before I got there because I'm still kind of new in the pin world. Like I got some when I was little when I went to Walt Disney World and then since then I've always tried to get at least two or three pins because I really like them but over the past year I've really gotten more into collecting and wanting to trade and stuff and this is the first time I went to Walt Disney World and traded and I loved it and I think that I'll be doing it from now on because it's really fun <laughs> and then I got this one it says ho ho no and it's grumpy holding an ugly Christmas sweater it's just adorable. I don't I mean, there's nothing really else to say. It's so cute. Look at him. He's so mad. And he's holding his little sweater. Oh, I didn't even notice it has picks and diamonds on it. it so, so cute. Then we've got Dopey, who's one of my favorite characters. I love Dopey. And he's got little gems for eyes. Again, very simple, but super cute. I love Dopey. So he's just, he's so cute. Then I saw this pin. Um while we were leaving Pirates of the Caribbean, it says, we wants the redhead. And I thought this was really cool. Um, that scene, I think, is is pretty funny. And I know they're thinking about changing it, which I don't really care because Walt Disney World changes all the time. It's one of those things that you just have to kind of 
you deal with and it's not that big a deal but I thought this pin was really cute and if they do end up changing the ride like they say they're going to to get rid of this scene it'll be kind of nice to have a pin to commemorate that oh this is one of the last pins I bought on the trip this is a little baby Winnie the Pooh he's eating his little pot of honey he's just cute but that's really the only reason he's cute <laughs> Oh, I really like this one. This is another one of the first pins I bought. So this one is Cinderella's castle on the front and it's like textured, it's raised. And then you open it and it's a picture of Walt and it says, it's kind of fun to do the impossible, Walt Disney. And I just really like this one. Again, I love Walt. I love Walt quotes. I think he's like one of um, history's really cool uh, creators, obviously, since he's created a company that's still around and still making good stuff. But I love his innovation and his optimism. It's very infectious. Oh, this is another limited edition pin. This one is Winter Wishes 2017. There were a couple of these. There was this one, Mickey building a snowman. There was mini ice skating. Then there was a Donald one, a Daisy one, a Pluto one, and a Stitch one. But I really like this one. It's um, raised like this, so it's like a snow globe and you can shake it and they move around. It's very cute. And this one is limited edition, but I'm not sure how limited, let me look. This one is limited of 5,000. Yeah, but I think this one's really cute. I love that you can like shake the little snow around. I think that's adorable. I got a limited edition Epcot Holidays Around the World pin. So it's Minnie and Mickey at the front with like little Christmas trees behind them. And then you open it up, which they didn't do the hinges very well. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of disappointed that the hinges are done as poorly as they are. But it says Epcot Holidays Around the World 2017. And then it's a big Christmas tree with Pluto and presents. And I just thought it was very, very cute. I just wish they'd done the hinges better. They kind of move and it's not just this one. It's the way they did the hinges because the bit that moves is in the center instead of on the outside. But, oh well, nothing I can do about that. <laughs> and this one is, let me look, here we go. This one is limited, 3,500. But yeah, I really like this one. I think it's cute. I love Minnie and Mickey's faces on the front. Just adorable. Then we have this one, which is super cute. This is, oh, if I can get the, there we go. It's an autograph book. So it's got the little pen and it's got Walt Disney World uh, official autograph book. It's got Pluto, Daisy, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Goofy. And then on the inside, it's got a bunch of signatures. So it's got Donald Duck, Chip, Minnie Mouse, Daisy Duck, Dale, Goofy, your pal Mickey Mouse, and Pluto, which I just think is really, really cute. Um, I just really liked this one. I thought it was adorable. Then I got this Tower of Terror one, which is really cool. So let me show you what it does. So the top of it when they're at the top half they're smiling and then it's got a switch on the back and when you pull the switch down they're really scared which i thought was really cute i love the tower of terror it's one of my favorite rides um, i went on it for the first time in disneyland paris um, in 2015 and it's one of my favorites. I like nervous giggle scream through the whole thing because I just get really nervous excited about it. So I really like that pin. Oh, and then this pin I found at the pin trading post in um, Disney Springs. And I really like this one. So I'm a Cardinals fan and a Yankees fan, but they didn't have any Yankee pins, which was kind of annoying. Um, they also had University of Auburn pins, and I really wish they'd had an IU pin because then I totally would have bought an IU pin, but they didn't. So we got this little Mickey sliding onto home base, which is really, really cute. This one also kind of reminded me of my mom because she's a really big Cardinals fan, and so is everybody on my mom's side of the family. So I just like this one. I thought it was cute. Then, oh, I've seen people um, trading this pin online and stuff, and I just really like it, and so I wanted to pick it up for myself. And it, it says, today I'm feeling, and then you've got all of the emotions from inside out. So you've got fear, sadness, disgust, joy, and, oh no, she's stuck behind, there we go, and anger. I just think this is really cute. I like that it spins around. I like... I loved the movie Inside Out, it made me cry. So I just thought this was really cute. So while Riley and I were in Walt Disney World, we got to write, um, we got to ride Flight of Passage and I really wanted to get a pin to commemorate us going to Pandora for the first time and I really liked this one. They didn't have very many Pandora pins, unfortunately, but I did really like this one. It's a silhouette of the Banshee and I think that's really cool and it says Flight of Passage on it. And it also is an open edition pin, which I'm assuming means like opening for the ride, so I don't know if this one will always be around, but I don't really know. 
This is another limited edition pin. This is another limited edition Aladdin pin. So the front is uh, the Cave of Wonders, and then when you open it up, it says Aladdin 25th anniversary, and then you've got Aladdin on the magic carpet with Abu, and they're like riding through the Cave of Wonders with all the gold and stuff that's being liquefied. I really liked this one. I thought it was so, so cute. Um, it was just really cool, and then it is also, oh, it is limited 3,000. But yeah, I really like this one. I think it's fun. I bought this pin. It says Akuna Matata. It's Simba, Pumbaa, and Timon walking across the puberty bridge, as it's called, where uh, Simba goes through like his puberty and goes from being a cub into a real lion, which I just think is kind of funny. So yeah, so I thought this one was cute. Now we've got my two Very Merry Christmas Party pins. So this is the Very Merry Christmas logo for this year, which I think is really cute. It's um, Mickey opening up a present, and he's like on a Christmas ornament. Um, so this was limited release, which I don't think it has on the back how many were made. Sorry, my cat is on the table. No, it doesn't. It just says limited release. So I don't know how many of this there are, but I thought it was really cute, and I wanted a very Merry Christmas party pin to commemorate our first time going to the party. Then I got these other very Merry Christmas party pins. So they had a couple characters with this. They had Minnie, Daisy, and I don't remember who else they had. Sorry, my cat's on the desk. I don't remember who else they had, but um, let me see how many of these were, that were made because these are limited edition. These are limited edition of 5,300, so more than some of the other ones. But she's very cute. I love her. So these are all the pins from mystery packs that I got. So I got these in two separate hidden Mickey pin packs, which I think are really cute. So we've got Happy and Grumpy. And then this was from a princess series. So I actually only wanted Ariel, Rapunzel, Belle, Jasmine, and Tiana. Um, the other options were Aurora, Cinderella, and Snow White. And I would have been fine with any of those as well. But these five are my favorite princesses, like of those, of that group, um, with Ariel and, that's my cat's tail, with Ariel and Belle being my favorites of all time. Primrose, stop it. Sorry, my cat is uh, very excited we're home. <laughs> so I got, I got triples. I got triple Ariel and double Belle as you'll see in the unboxing. So I'm planning on just trading these. I'm totally happy with that. And then I also got this Woody in a hidden Mickey pack. Um, let's see if he'll focus. Doo -doo. Yep, I got this Woody in a hidden Mickey pack. He's really cute. Um, he came with one of the dwarves, and then the other dwarf came with a, um, a Pascal, but I traded him away. These are all the pins I traded for while I was at the parks. So I only came with one pin to trade and I traded it for this, um, it was a Lilo pin and I traded for it for this Dumbo um, bottle cap, which I think is really cute. Dumbo's one of my favorite movies. Um, it's very, focus please. Nope, okay, it's not gonna focus, that's fine. But I traded him for Dumbo. And then Riley had a really good idea to buy one of those like big packs of pins, so I bought a pack of seven. They were cute. They were like little nerds or whatever. And I traded for other stuff. And then, like I said, I traded one of my hidden Mickeys away um, for one of these. So I found this Ariel Pisces on a cast member's lanyard in Disney Springs. And I didn't realize that she was from a collection of Zodiacs. And then he was telling me about them. And then it just so happened that the next day I saw a Sagittarius on someone's pin. And then in the um, City Hall's uh, pin book they had a Libra which has Goofy on it so I've got these three I'm gonna try to see if I can get all of them I think they're really cute and they're kind of different um, so I like those and then this one I found on a cast members pin um, it was it's from Disneyland and it's like an old-school ticket which I thought was really cute um, yeah this one I got at a blind trade which was really really cool um, so some of the cast members do blind trades where you can't see their pins before you trade them um, but not all of them do that. She was also from a blind trade. I don't really like this like silver on silver look personally. Um, I think it's kind of hard to distinguish, so I'm probably going to trade her away. But that's okay. Um, but I really like this Aladdin. Like I said, I really like Aladdin and Jasmine, and it's hard to find Jasmine and Aladdin pins. Um, and I also saw this Jasmine on somebody's, so I traded for her. She's really cute. She's a little bit damaged. She's got some like hair. Can you see? She's got a little bit of like 
hair missing, um, but she's really cute. And then I found this Tiana, some, um, again, in the cast member, uh, in the uh, book at City Hall. So these are the nine pins that I like traded for. I'm really happy with all of them, honestly. There were a couple that I was definitely excited to get rid of. Um, I did blind trading with somebody and got two that I really didn't like, and I traded them for the Libra and the Tiana at City Hall. So I was happy to get rid of those two. They were a Star Wars one and a hidden Mickey piece of watermelon or something, and I just didn't really like those. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited by all of these. I like these, except Mulan. I think I'm gonna trade away Mulan, but the rest of them I really like. So those are all the pins. So like I said, I got a lot of pins on this trip. Um, it's a little embarrassing, but I'm trying to get into pin trading and pin collecting, and I've always really liked them, and I feel like if I'm gonna be into something merchandise related, at least they don't take up very much space. So, cause that's really nice, cause some people, you know, buy big figurines and stuff, which is very cool. And if I had a bigger apartment, I probably would do that, but I don't. So it's nice cause they can just go on a board. So yeah, so this has been my, um, my Walt Disney World haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later.